Welcome to the Move On Board Strength and Endurance Program. It's a combination of strengthening and cardio exercises to improve your physical fitness. Let's start with the warm up. The warm up consists of six exercises lasting 30 seconds. First exercise knees to the elbows. We are slowly starting to warm up our entire body as well as the cardiovascular system. Guide your hands to your temples and spread your feet shoulder width apart. Now, pull one knee upwards and move your elbow diagonally in the direction of the knee. Feel the strengthening of your abdominal muscles. Put down your leg and then raise the other one. Increase your pace a little over time. Continue for 30 seconds. Exercise two, shoulder circles, 30 seconds. The focus of our second exercise is on the shoulders. The exercise is called shoulder circles. Raise your arms at shoulder level, bend them forward for 15 seconds and then back for 15 seconds. Make small circular movements. These are already sufficient to form the necessary synovial fluid. Now, the other way, for 15 seconds. The next exercise, knee pulling squats, is a combination of strengthening and stretching. First, we want to strengthen the legs and buttocks muscles, and then try to increase the flexibility in your hip. Let's start. Position your feet about shoulder width apart. Stretch your arms forward. Now, slowly bend your legs, but keep your back straight. As soon as upper and lower leg reach about 90 degrees, push yourself up and exhale. Your back is always straight. Carry out this movement slowly. Then lift a knee and grasp it with your hands. Pull the knee to you for a few seconds. With that exercise, we stretch the joint capsule of the hip and keep it movable. Number four, rowing and lateral lifting. This exercise will mobilize and strengthen your back and shoulders. Bend your legs slightly and move your upper body forward. Now, pull your arms and lower them again. Use your back muscles. Then, raise your arms sideways. Use your shoulder muscles. Do these movements for 30 seconds. Next, rotation lunges. We want to mobilize your spine and strengthen your legs and buttocks. For a healthy back, it is crucial that the muscles and ligaments that surround the spine remain elastic. Stand upright. Now, take a lunge step forward. The front leg is bent. Thigh and lower leg show a 90 degree angle. As soon as you have a safe position, stretch your arms forward and rotate your upper body towards the leg, which points to the front. Your eyes follow your hands. Slowly move to the side and then back to the front. Consciously push yourself backwards with your leg and buttocks muscles. Last warm-up exercise is the movable plank. With this exercise, we want to stretch your lower back and your rear leg muscles. In addition, we stabilize your entire body. Stand a bit more than shoulder width. Bend forward and try putting your hands on the ground. Feel the stretch in the legs. 
Try not to bend them. Move forward on your hands until your body stretches so far that it forms a straight line. Stay in this position for a little bit and tense your entire body muscles. Then you move back on your hands, bend your body, and bring yourself back to the starting position. The warm-up is over and your body is now optimally prepared for the coming intense minutes. The following workout includes six sections with a total of 12 exercises. Each section consists of a dynamic strength exercise with 10 reps each, followed by a 30 second endurance exercise and a 30 second pause before starting again. Through this combination of high intensive interval training and strengthening exercises, we can achieve a quick improvement in your personal fitness, the perfect workout. Let's start with punch squat and jumping jack. Therefore, we start the training with a deep squat. Keep your legs wider than shoulder width. Once at the bottom, hit the ground twice with your fists. Stand up, punch forward twice. We do this process 10 times. We will now do the jumping jack. Spread your arms and legs. Then bring your legs together and your hands to the ears. Repeat the steps. Try this exercise for 30 seconds. With these exercises, we especially strengthen your shoulders, legs, buttocks, and your endurance. Go faster and faster! Good job. Take a 30 second break. Now we go with a dynamic push up and plank speed reach. The first exercise strengthens your chest, arms, and shoulders. The second exercise strengthens your entire body, especially all deep muscles. They are a crucial support factor for your body. Get in the push position. Your hands are at shoulder height and your body is stretched. Bend your arms and gently move your body down before you push up and exhale. Do 10 repetitions. Stay strong, keep going. And then keep your body tension, especially in the stomach and back. Alternately, touch your hands, arms, and shoulders. Due to the constant imbalance, you train your muscles even more intensively. The exercise will be a bit easier if you do it on your knees. Rest 30 seconds. We'll now train your abdominal muscles with the Russian twist and flying bird. We want to train both your oblique and straight abdominal muscles. A strong abdominal musculature is crucial for a healthy back. Let's go. Sit on the floor and bend your knees. Keep your back straight and tilt your upper body slightly backwards. Your abs will have to work even more when you lift your legs up. But you don't have to do that. Hold the position and lock your hands. Now move your hands 10 times from hip to hip and follow your hands with your eyes. Then you spread your arms sideways and move them slightly up and down. 
With those swinging movements, you challenge your balance, which trains your abdominal muscles optimally. Try to do this exercise for 30 seconds. Don't forget to breathe. To make it more difficult, raise your feet or lean back even further. Take a pause. The next exercise is a combination of back and stabilization exercise. The combination is called Superman and Original Plank. These exercises will strengthen your trunk and give your spine the necessary support. Lie on your stomach and stretch your arms and legs. Look to the floor. Try to lift both your arms and legs 10 times off the ground. Exhale while doing so. It should be a bit easier for you if you just raise your arms and keep your legs on the ground. In both variants, you will feel a strengthening of the lower back. After the 10 repetitions, you go on your forearms and on the balls of your feet. Make sure that your shoulders are slightly in front of your elbow and hold the position for 30 seconds. Breathe steadily. Tighten your entire body and keep it in a straight line. If you're not able to hold the position, get on your knees and continue the exercise. Keep holding. Take a break. With the next exercises, we strengthen both your entire musculature and your endurance. The side plank dips will help you to a better basic tension in the body and strengthens explicitly your body side. The mountain climber is a total body exercise. Position yourself sideways on your forearm. In the more difficult version, you stretch your legs and support your body upwards. In the less difficult version, you can put your knees on the ground. Hold the position. Now, move your hips to the ground without touching the ground with your body. Now push the hip back to the starting position. Repeat this process 10 times and then turn your body to make 10 repetitions on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. After that, you get up in the supporting plank position. Tense your body. Move a knee towards your chest and exhale. Return your leg back and do the same thing with the other leg. Start at a slow pace and then get faster. You have 30 seconds to increase your speed. Do this, come on faster. The sixth and last section of intense training. You are nearly done. Try to give everything. The last two exercises will demand everything from your legs, back and buttocks. But remember, it's almost over. The exercises are called Halo Slam and High Knees Run. For the Halo Slam, you stand a little farther than hip width. Stretch your arms forward and interlock your hands. Now you move your hands downwards with a dynamic movement and go into the squat. Get up again and do a dynamic downward movement again. Keep your back straight. After 10 repetitions, stay straight. Get ready for the last 30 seconds.
Stand upright and alternately pull your knees for 30 seconds. Swing your arms diagonally. Make sure your back is straight at all times. Get faster and faster. 30 seconds are nothing. Only 10 seconds. Last five seconds. Very good job. You have finished the challenging HITT training. Well done. Time to give your body some relaxation. That is why we now do a little cool down. Your cardiovascular system and your heart rate should gradually return to normal. This works best with mobilization and stretching exercises. All movements are to stretch and mobilize the musculature surrounding your spine. That will keep your back flexible. Position your feet further than hip width apart. Now bend your legs and support yourself with your hands on your thighs. Now push the shoulder blades upwards so that you arch your upper body. The shoulders move forward as well. Inhale deeply and tense your abdominal muscles. After we did this, we relax the abdominal muscles as well as the shoulders in our complete upper body. Try to focus on your breathing. Now, stand upright and take a deep breath. Feel how your lungs fill up with oxygen and how your rib cage lifts up. Let your upper body fall forward by guiding your head and arms to the floor. Breathe consciously. Let your head and arms dangle for a few seconds. And then come slowly up again with each vertebra individually. Take a deep breath and relax. Raise your arms high and look to your hands. Stretch your entire body. Move your arms downwards and shake your hands, arms, and legs before you bring your body to the ground. Lie on your back and put your arms lateral, palms pointing upwards. Bend your legs and move them to the side on the ground. Stay in this position. Now move your legs to the other side. Do it again, it works for your spine. One more time. Stretch yourself and relax. We came to an end with the Move On Board Strength and Endurance Program. Try to do these exercises three times a week. Soon, you will see a noticeable improvement. I hope to see you soon on board.